I'd like Rahul to come in right now. Uh, do you have to be in mainstream politics in the society to bring in change as youth or an individual is good enough to bring in changes? Uh, good evening. It's a great privilege to be in India Today Conclave. Last time I was invited was four years ago, but I was arrested and was in jail for two, three weeks regarding Shabarimala protests. So my wife, Deepa Rahul, she participated. Even from that time, I always told Deepa that I was jealous of you because I couldn't participate. So this is a great honor for me coming here and taking that question ahead. Absolutely, I feel, you know, there is no need for any godfather. There is no need for any other special mechanism. We can be change makers and we can definitely fight it on streets, social media. Youth can use YouTube. You know, one of the moments that we, you know, I had the great privilege to participate was the Shabarimala moment where perhaps first time in the history of independent India, there was a 4-1 a uh, particular verdict against the temple and the belief system. No political party supported us. Rather, every political party was on the opposite side in the beginning. But normal devotees, ordinary people, youngsters, especially you know, female leaders, backward communities, we all came together and we could perhaps change the first verdict you know, by the power of the street, by the power of the people. The 4-1 verdict, which everyone thought was nothing but a Himalayan task to be overturned, we could do that because of our agitations, even though the verdict is not, final verdict is not out. Supreme Court has referred it to a higher member bench. But in effect, we know that victory will be ours, and it's very similar to the Jellikattu movement uh, that happened in Tamil Nadu. So it need not be politics. It can be social activism. It can be YouTube activism. It can be digital media. So yes, youth can be change makers. You have to make yourself heard. You have to raise your point. You have to raise your position. And this is the best time because you get a lot of you know, spaces in the media. I was privileged. You know, I was, I'm a huge admirer of Rajiv Sarvai you know, I had a great privilege to be in his shows. National media supports you. Regional media supports you. So I, I don't come from any political background, but I get a lot of space as an activist. So yes, you can make meaningful interventions and you can really change the landscape because there is more of a democratization of the entire media space. There is a democratization of social intervention space. You need not come from a family. You need not come from a party. You need not be from the rich background. So irrespective of anything, this is the right time. If there are youngsters, we should definitely intervene. And as Swami Chinmayanta rightly said, youth are not useless, but they are useless. So it is also incumbent upon seniors like you to channelize their energy in a positive way, mentor them as social change agents. Somebody will be turned off by the word politics. They can use the word activism. They can use the word change makers, social intervention, cultural intervention. And this is possible whether you know I am a right conservative Hindu activist. Chinda will be a left liberal. Thalia may be a secular Muslim community activist. So, but we all have our own spaces. So this is the right time across the spectrum whether you belong to right or left. This is the right time and perhaps the best time for every youngster to intervene in the nation building process.